I think what you're doing is great because most of our gardens are residential, so the family and their friends have access to it, although uh, some of our future goals are to be doing more work in public spaces like what you're doing now. I think it's really important for communities to come together and grow the food as, um, as a larger family, you know, a larger community, because you, know, you can really bond with people when you're growing food together. It's a very uh, special connection that you form with the land and with the people you're working with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And one of the um, the other opportunities would be prisons, I guess. Um, I, he I hear, I'm aware of a number of um, prison systems that are um, actually using, uh, you know, um, doing this and with great results. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And the fact that prisons are building large farms on their land is sort of a testament to the fact that it, it does pay off. There is a return on investment. It definitely has a, a positive effect on the community, but it also is, is sustainable financially, and that's one of the things that people are starting to catch up, c catch on with. Yeah. And it really makes sense when you take into account the healthcare savings, because if you're eating, you know, if you minimise the time from the garden to the plate, you're, there's a huge health benefit. Absolutely. So, Talia, uh, given that your idea is such a an amazing one that most people would obviously support. What obstacles have you found on your path? Um, when I started, I actually didn't think I could get a lot of support right away. I think people, they, they gave their support verbally, but as opposed to doing things, it was a lot more challenging. When I, I actually, uh, I was interviewed over the radio before I presented my idea for a bill and people would call and they'd say, good job, it's not going to work, but it's nice that you have that in mind and, you know, try, but uh, we don't expect anything, but good job, it's nice that you're trying to do something like that. So when I went over, I had this little paper in my hand and I went up to my state representative and I'm thinking, well, I mean, I have nothing to lose, but, you know, I really want this to work. And I remember the first time handing it over and he said, yes. This is something that I will put into the house and we will see where it goes from there. And that was the first time I got a yes. But the next time it came around, it, it actually, it went through the house mm -hmm. and into the, into the Senate. But um, that's when we had a whole bunch of problems because um, there was one senator who didn't even want to see it. They, she just didn't want to see it. She looked at it and she thought, nah. I don't want to submit it, you know, it got into the Senate, but I don't really. So I, uh, I remember I was 15 at the time, and I uh, was on Oahu, and I walked around to different offices, knocking on senators' doors, and just wow. questioning them, and sitting there with them, and having all these meetings, because I had three days before the whole bill was going to die, and I was like, oh my gosh. This has to work. It's, it's come so far. We've had all these challenges pushing it through the House, and it got through the House, and now they won't even see it in the Senate. And so I remember I had seven meetings with seven different senators, and, you know, they would all say similar things. Um, this is nice. How will it work? How, what do you plan on doing? And I'm thinking, well, I, I'm, I'm 15. I, I'm... I'm trying to figure everything out, but I would like your advice too. And so it was a lot of those kind of challenges with people that wanted to support it, but they didn't want to do anything. And I had a lot of that. But I had one senator in particular that was who was trying to help me out with it. But um, he actually ended up somewhat getting me a grant to start the pilot project when it when it didn't go into the Senate. But it was. We had a lot of those problems with a whole bunch of different people with pushing it through. And that's one of the main reasons why it died is because people didn't really want to see it. And so we'll be put, we are going to try to push it through again if this pilot does work out and it's thriving. Yeah, well, one of the things that y you obviously now understand is our society seems to have a lot of resistance to change. Even where it's obviously something that's going to benefit the community, people seem to be stuck, you know, um, and just, just to resist change. Yeah, I remember talking with one senator and he said, 
wow, this is a great idea, but you realize if we push this through, it's going to change a lot of everything around here and how we all think about food in general. And, you know, then I looked out his window and I saw three or four homeless people just sleeping. And I'm thinking, well, I mean, they would probably want to work on it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it was a lot of different debates that I had with different people.